It's about time I did an update on the Unilinx Dome Hub project. Uh, it's been oh, three or four weeks since I've updated um, and I've had a lot to think about. Uh, this is the latest design. Uh, what I did, um, well, I should, I should have a look at some of the previous designs to be fair. Let's try and get them up. Yeah. We had, we last we were about here, which was a two-part machined aluminium extruded component, which was expensive uh, to produce. I had, I've been looking at manufacturers, and uh, we're going to. Uh, I'm struggling with um, getting anybody to manufacture this cost-effectively. So what we had to do was we had to change the tack a wee bit, and try and redesign for a, a more efficient, cost-effective. Uh, but still just as useful and flexible product. So we ended up at this. This is, um, let's look at the top view. This was, um, it's still a two part component. So you have a top and a bottom. <clears throat> uh, so you would laser cut this from sheet material and then uh, bend it into this form here. And that, that effectively does everything that the uh, extruded machined um, hub does, but it's going to be a lot cheaper. Um, now, I did have a um, comment, and that was this. Uh, is there a specific, any specific reason why the two pieces must not be equal? So what he's suggesting here is, do these two parts have to be different? Um, and the answer is, it's a, there's a long and short answer here, uh, that uh, it, the, the do have to be, let me just line these up a bit better, there we go, that's how they would sit. Now what we're looking for is um, these two holes to be the same height, let me just clear that off. Um, what would happen, let me just demonstrate, um, if if I take this one, so we're using the same component now, it's about 2.5mm, two, two and that thickness is important, see what's happened, let me just change the angle of this there we go that's in the middle of there this one is pushed higher up now that uh, in itself isn't a huge problem um, but if if you can imagine uh, we have let me just do another one of these if we have several of these uh, that need to be joined together then that way it wouldn't match up now you could um, rotate this one Just to get this right. Like so. And then we'll just we'll just uh, line it up properly. That's roughly right. So you could make it match by doing that. Uh, but you would have to um, be careful and you would have and you would need an, an even number of uh, joints because um, that's two joints these two would then come round to join onto that but if you had three joints you'd end up with um, an, the, the next one being an up joint trying to join round to a down joint uh, but the idea was really interesting um, because obviously you could probably half your tooling costs uh, quite easily and then you don't have issues in the packet where you have to uh, where you have to get two, uh, because if you're on site, you have a box of tops and a box of bottoms, um, and you you grab a handful of tops, but you've got no bottoms in the other pocket. You, it, it's a problem. So the, it's a really good idea uh, to try and make these one component. So this is what the solution I came up with. Here we go. Right, we have. 
what we have to do is we have to treat the bottom bracket same as the top which has this slot because uh, the slot when, when this rotates round I'm gonna have to show you here because it'll be it's difficult to show otherwise when this rotates round like that you don't it'll jam at this point so you need at least to get 90 degrees and probably more so you could go to there without it jamming and it'll go all the way around here to here without jamming uh, but to fix the uh, the issue with um, the this we've just we've just elongated this hole so we've elongated the hole by two millimeters let me uh, there we go I'll just turn this around so I can get a better view there the bolt will still go through and that will allow um, some wiggle movement which is super handy actually you know that allow that to, to wiggle a bit that way and if we uh, rotate it like this It'll allow, it'll allow a bit of it'll allow a decent amount of wiggle room like that so and once you've got your structure together obviously um, you can tighten the bolts and stop the wiggle so that's the solution now so the latest is that we have one uh, bracket to make uh, what I'm going to do is this this looks fairly simple what I'll probably do is uh, uh, for the next video I will um, uh, let's go and find the single one. This is the single, the only bracket we need now. So what I'll do is I'll probably get laser cut um, these two shapes and, and weld some together or make, make some by hand uh, and give them the test that way.